Hi and welcome to the Navitrans video series. My name is Tijn and in this video I will show you non-conformities. So what are non-conformities? These are deviations of the normal working procedure, for example goods that have been damaged during loading. Navitrans will allow you to register these events in the non-conformity functionality. In this scenario, Orly of the customer service department has received a complaint of a customer. So on the role center I have the profile of a transport user. Let's go via departments to Navitrans transport and forwarding non-conformities. We have two non-conformities, one referring to a delivery, another to speeding. And each non-conformity has been given a color linked to their status. In the fact box you have all information regarding these topics. Let's create a new one. So I have a complaint about the late delivery and now I will register this complaint. So this is for our site in Brussels, Department International. Okay, And the flow equals in. As it is a complaint from outside the company, out would be if it's raised internally. The subject type is customer. And the subject code refers to Auchan, the retailer who had a complaint because of the late delivery. The external reference will refer to the original transport file. The group is customer complaints and linked to it we have delivery. Of course, you can set up as many types or groups as necessary. The weight can be set up as positive or negative, referring to the severity. Now, the remarks are set up by default on cause and description, so the cause would be a traffic jam, and the non-conformity description is delivery too late. You're still able to add other remarks manually, such as speed and location, for example. Okay, last thing I'll do is sign a user. This person is responsible for all service level agreements. I'll fill in the deadline and priority, which is again a number based on the internal severity. Last thing I'll do is tick off the box notify user, so he gets the notification. In the second part of the scenario, the sales manager will handle the non-conformity. So in this case, I have the profile of a sales manager and I have received a notification regarding the non-conformity. I'll first set the status of the non-conformity to busy. And second, I will go to my mailbox and I've got a, a mail forwarded earlier with complaint from my colleague that I will now drag and drop to the non-conformity. I'll link it to the document group non-conformities. As this non-conformity was created earlier, the historic button allows me to see who has done any changes. What are the benefits of using non-conformities? So first of all, it allows you to fast and efficiently process anything that deviates from the anticipated flow. Second, by using the history, statuses and notifications, the follow-up can be done easier. And last, once you start registering all deviations, you can use it as a management tool for prevention purposes. Thank you for watching this Navitrans video.